Hi again. As you already know from the first part, we intend to show you how the efficiency of the Tesnik turbine compares to the other wind turbines. In the following video, you will be able to see the tremendous effect of the stack disk in extracting the wind energy. In this second part, we have put back the stack disk on our Tesnik turbine. You may notice the new and optimized configuration of our turbine with four blades and series of stack disks. The tests are con conducted in exactly the same way as in the first part with the same 16 inch standard 3 speed fan in exactly the same position. As you can see the Tesnik turbine is able to start at the lowest speed of the fan. The turbine started to turn slowly and gain in rotation to stabilize its rotation at 70 rpms which coincidentally was the rotation achieved by the Darius configuration at the highest speed of the fan. At the second speed of the fan the Tesnik turbine gained in rotation to stabilize its rotation at 82 rpms. As a reminder, by comparison the Darius configuration achieved only 42 rpms at the same speed of the fan. At the third speed of the fan, the Tesnik turbine turned at 105 rpms. The wind speeds simulated by the fan are somehow close to the low winds that we usually have in urban areas. Consequently, a wind turbine intended for urban areas need to be able to start at the lowest wind speed possible and to extract the maximum of the wind energy in this condition, set aside aesthetics, noise and other considerations. As you can see from the chart, in the same test condition there is a tremendous effect of the stack disk of the wind turbine compared to its counterpart without disks. This concludes our test where we intended to show you how the efficiency of the Tesnik turbine compares to the other wind turbines. Thank you and keep in touch our website at www.tesnik.com.